I just watched Bleach episode 9 uh, so after a very long time now we are getting the animations the animated part of the uh, of the manga that we pretty much all read I believe at this point and this was very exciting episode because this is the drop which is basically the start of the encounter between Unohana and Zaraki Kenpachi. So there are actually three fights of Zaraki Kenpachi in this arc and each three of them are uh, what excite me pretty much the most in the entire story basically and this is the one, this is basically the one that is going to um, change the uh, the storyline of Zaraki Kenpachi and um, I mean the animation is really nice right it is following the manga like 99% my only concern is because it follows the manga 99% I kind of am sad that it's it's moving fast I wish that they like spent 10 episodes on this fight or something I would be glad when there were even fillers of Mang of Zaraki and Unohana in between because this is a, such an important fight and we see the Unohana's, uh, you know, Kenpachi side here. So one panel that was in the manga but not in the anime was that Unohana has her hair always to the front covering her chest. There was one panel where she undoes her hair and actually shows the wound because, you know, it's unusual for a woman to have hair uh, on her front, on her chest. That's because she wants to cover the wound that was inflicted by Zaraki Kenpachi. And we see now, and she actually does say, my wound is aching. So the the talks, the the dialogue is pretty much exactly the same as in the manga. And what concerns me now is now the the next episode is pretty much the um, the the episode that will you know. Um, where the, the battle is going to be, the episode name is going to be the battle, you know, if the episode name is battle, you know that there is an important battle there. And um, my only concern is that in the manga, we didn't see much of um, Unohana's Bankai. I hope they will animate it. I hope they will show some more aspect and details about what that Bankai does. Uh, some people uh, commented that it might be acid, something like that. Um, whatever it is, I want to see it. Hopefully we'll see it. And, a, you know, at the end of this episode 9, Zaraki was wounded and then he's fighting back. So it's not very, you know, even in the anime clearly laid out. But I think what is happening is that Unohana is using her healing skills to bring back Zaraki Kampachi from death. So that stab through the neck actually did happen. But I think that Unohana healed Zarki Kenpachi and um, now basically after some sort of a gap in his memory he's now continued to fight and he will get actually stronger as the fight goes. Um, uh, you know in the manga it was a bit ambiguous I didn't basically understand is this some sort of a Bankai, some sort of Shikai effect of Unohana or something. Uh, no, I think it is just basically him almost dying and then coming back. I hope they will, you know, reveal something much more than manga in the next battle. But the next battle is one of the most key battles in the entire Bleach history and pretty much one of the key battles in the entire arc. Um, I'm very excited uh, to see how next week's episode 10, the battle, is going to be. And... Um, this is a this is a exciting but also a bit of a sad episode, you know. Um, I hope that they will do uh, more flashback of Zaraki's youth and uh, you know um, Unohana and uh, you know not to spoil much in case you don't know, but uh, Zaraki's lieutenant is named um, Yachiru and Unohana also named herself Yachiru. Basically, these. Um, thousands of uh, techniques right so yeah I'm the Zaraki storyline is what excites me the most pretty much in this arc in this uh, bleach remaining uh, parts and uh, I am so excited to see what's going to happen next yeah the battle